Jamie Graham here for the Waffle Report, thanks to Tintacar. Obviously a disappointing result in the end, that last quarter didn't go to plan. Can you take me through the game? Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, it was great, two and a half, three quarters, the boys really put in some great effort and some of our style of play was, was good. Um, but unfortunately it all went downhill after three quarter time and, and West Perth gained the ascendancy and we just we couldn't stop it, got momentum and, and it was hard to stop. Um, in the end, on review, we couldn't get our hands on the ball. Um, something 100, 100 possessions to 40. So it was disappointing the guys couldn't couldn't run the, the game out, but um, I'm sure there's some really good learning for them. One of the guys that really tried hard right to the end was Patrick McGinnity. Yeah, Paddy had a crack. As we know, that's what he brings. Um, that's definitely his strength, his, his physical pressure and his, his competitive instinct. So Ginner come back, um, he had a role to play and, and yeah, he did that for four quarters. Uh, a young fellow, uh, Alec Waterman, uh, tried hard all day. He did. He's, uh, he's had a good uh, season so far, Alec, in, in the midfield. He hasn't looked out of place and he's really clean with his hands around stoppages. So he, he's been racking up the possessions and also getting his fair share of clearances. So it's been good. And Scott Lysett was good up forward in the ruck. Yeah, Scotty was good. He, he had some focus areas when he came back and um, yeah, he, he executed those. He competed in the ruck and, and he gave us a target forward. Uh, in what was quite a small forward line, it was, it was good. He gave us a, a focal point and he kicked a few goals. Keeping on moving forward, Mark Hutchings, uh, another good game. Yeah, it was another solid hit out for Hutch. Um, he got a bit of a tight run with earlier in the game and, and he fought through that. And uh, yeah, like I said last week, he's starting to build and get some minutes up. And yeah, he's, he's, he's getting into some good form and hopefully pushing for senior selection soon. And finally, uh, Malcolm Carpenter uh, made a return. Yeah, Mally's been out for a few weeks and he come back through the reserves um, and he, he played in the midfield and yeah, he got his hands on the ball and, and worked on a couple of focus areas that he's been working on uh, at training. So it was pleasing to see him get through and hopefully he's pushing for a selection in the, the senior side at East Perth this week. East Perth is the greatest team of all.